And, you know, you could say, oh, you know, this is all about putting up appearances and Instagram and stuff. But you know what? I would do all of this even if y'all weren't here. Why is time alone and doing nice things for yourself important? Come along and let's find out. So I have a rare evening to myself. One of the... I wouldn't call it a challenge, but one of the things that my husband and I have noticed is that since we have retired together, we don't have a whole lot of time each to ourselves. Now, this is compounded by the fact that we live in a very small 800-ish square foot apartment. You're seeing all of it here. That's it, plus the two bedrooms. And there's just not a whole lot of space for us to just kind of hang out um, on our own. And so we are together all the time. Tonight, he is going out to a minor league baseball game with a couple of his friends, a few of his friends. And so he is out for the evening and I am in. (laughs) And I'm trying not to seem too joyous. There's nothing it's not against him it's just that especially as an introvert uh these moments are priceless they are needed they are necessary to recharge and to just um just relax a little bit um not only am i an introvert but i am a uh recovering people pleaser So anytime there are choices to be made in terms of what to have for dinner or what to watch or what to do, I'm constantly thinking about what the other person in the room is wanting and and would prefer. I'm trying to get better at that. He's helping me do that. And um, but when you're alone, you don't have to worry about any of that. You don't have to play those games with yourself and do the emotional work that it takes to work through that and you know what I mean anyway so it's a bit of a breather um I also enjoy going to the movies by myself I enjoy going out to eat by myself all of those things for no other reason than the emotional work the lack of emotional work part of it so um Tonight is a a rare evening for me. I'm going to enjoy it. I am taking myself, well, I'm not taking myself out on a date. I'm going to go pick up some food, some Indian food, which my husband doesn't eat and doesn't like. So I got to decide just all on my own that I'm doing that. And I'm going to pick up the food. Um, It's a new restaurant that I haven't tried yet here in town. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to create a nice little atmosphere for myself. And I'm not sure what I'm going to actually do this evening, but I'm just going to take it from there. So come along with me. Okay, you guys. Wow. They gave me a free mango lassie on the house. That's what free means on the house. <laughs> and it is so good. Mm. I haven't had a mango lassie this creamy and delicious since I was in India several years ago. Oh my God, now I can't wait to get home. 
and have the food. I'm so excited. Here we go. Okay. Drinking my lassie all the way home. Woohoo! One of the things that I like to do when I have just moments and I have a little bit of extra energy and time is to romanticize my life a little bit. And what that means for me, especially here in this moment, oh my God, is to just make things a little more special to create a situation where it feels feels special I'm not just throwing eating things out of a tub which is fine sometimes too but um, really making a setting the scene so to speak and and this isn't just for YouTube it's not you know, an Instagram strategy or whatever. It is, um, it is for me and only me so that I can um, have the opportunity, I don't want these leaves in here, so that I can help make myself feel just a little bit more special and just create the scene. It's about taking ordinary things and making them a little bit more extraordinary. myself and I haven't really planned this out I just know I like flowers and candles and music who doesn't I still have some of my mango lassie here I am setting up my scene I've got my flowers my granddaughter's puzzles and books my Ganesh my what do you call those candles that's what they're called they're called candles on the floor for a couple of reasons one is that I'm a floor sitter I like the floor but also sitting on the floor as we get older um, is a good thing to do getting up and down off the floor because someday if you don't do that you're gonna find it's really hard to do <laughs> And I know I'm years and years away from that, but if you do it every day, you won't, you, if you don't use it, you'll lose it, right? Okay, I just, I can't wait. I'm just gonna dig right in. Oh my God, you guys, I'm in heaven. And so I have, I have done this sort of thing for myself for a while, romanticizing my life a little bit because um, because it just sounded like fun, honestly. And, you know, you could say, oh, you know, this is all about putting up appearances and Instagram and stuff, but you know what? I would do all of this even if y'all weren't here. Um, and I'm gonna stop the video in a little bit because I wanna eat this and enjoy it in the moment um, it is really good but I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about the subject of 
romanticizing your life. And for me, it's just a way to appreciate myself, to create experiences that are a little bit more than ordinary, and just to coin the phrase of, of a dear friend of mine, to love, to love the stuffing out of life. And so, um, especially when I'm alone and I don't have to worry about what other people are wanting or needing or if they'll think something's corny or whatever, I do these kinds of things for myself. And I am so grateful and I highly encourage anybody to try it. And there are so many different ways that you can romanticize your life. Um, sometimes it's just about noticing things in a different way. But it's about, um, you know, wearing your favorite dress, even though you're just around the house, not waiting for a special moment. Drink the good champagne, drink the good whiskey um, or bourbon if you're my husband. Um, you know, just enjoying what you have for you, for no other reason but for you. Not because you're going to show somebody or not because you're trying to put on appearances or not even waiting for a special occasion. Make as much as you can, make every day a special occasion. Every meal. I'm not good at doing this all the time. I should do, I want to do it more. You'll notice I stop myself from saying should. I'm a, not a big fan of the word should either. Um, and I'm send my energy. I'm just so stoked right now. And what I really want out of what I really want out of this evening is peace and calm and enjoying the little things. So I'm gonna do that. Cheers. I deserve this. I do. So do you, by the way. This or something like this. Whatever the, this equivalent is for you. Ask something. Are you wasting my time? You're 20 something. And I'm out of my mind. I'm feeling seasick. Every time that you leave. Drugs in for free. 